Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. We are back on planet Marcadia, but we still have to, um, I believe the last time we left our heroes, we still have to bring up the laser defense grid. So, let's go on ahead and do that, shall we? Before I do, I just did an audio check to make sure everything was running properly, and I don't think... Yeah, I don't have enough for the next new weapon. What is that? Electric multiple spitting hydro. Ooh. Okay, I want to see that, but that'll have to wait. First, we have to bring back the laser defense grid. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's right, I stopped because it was going to take us to a whole laser defense facility. And uh, the video, the last one, was already running on pretty long. But hey, if all things go well... This video will come out uh, today, actually. This refractor gadget to restore power to the city's defense grid. Those laser beams are red hot, so make sure you turn the refractor field on before you touch them. Good luck. Huh. I actually can't remember how to do this. It'll be very interesting. Uh... What was this one? Infector? The infector fires nanovirus globules that infect enemies on contact. Infected enemies will attack and infect other enemies until the infection wears off. That's what I thought it did. New gadget. I actually can't remember how to use it at all. I may have said that already. I can't remember at all how it was used. Oh, we got this guy. Oh, oh. okay. Didn't expect him to get the hit on me. Do, 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 do. Okay, so it said something the about the refractor will let you redirect laser beams. Just equip it and stand in the path of the laser. Hold L1 and use the left analog stick to aim the beam. Aim the beam. Uh, like what? Like like this? What? I mean, I'm trying to get it right there, right? Come on, a little bit further. Hold what? Ah, there we go. Okay. Not bad. Huh, interesting. Nothing else around here, right? Interesting. Okay, okay. I think I can get behind that. That one almost got me. Okay, so I need to... Where's the refractor beam? Refractor? Is that it? Nope. There we go. Boom. So just like I'm using my wrench here, I'm gonna put the laser... Oh, wow. I can break things with it. Come on. There we go. Nailed it. First try. Then I need to open this. Okay, okay. We're making some progress. Oh, it goes forward. And then it does that thing. That's neat. Oh, wait. I can let this get them. Watch this. <laughs> I remember that from back in the day. We And let's see. This guy... Nitro launcher? Ratchet. The refractor can reflect beam attacks at enemies. Just hold L1 to aim the reflected beams. Huh. Oh, I didn't even know that. Well, now it's now it's a little late, but hey, whatever. Okay. I just took care of him with the nitro launcher. Okay, so... Now we open this door. Oh, no, we're moving the refractor beam so that it can get to the next spot. These are really good puzzles. It's cute. Boom. Ah, I can aim. Wait, he's not using lasers, is he? No, nah. that went that went straight through. Yeah, 
Dang, I was like, how many hits is it gonna take? Okay, back to Refractor. Interesting. So, ah, I see. And, oh wait, I don't have the beam no more. I gotta be in the beam. In the beam! Be the beam. Uh, uh, come on! It's so finicky! There you go. Nailed it, first try. And then I move the beam! <laughs> cool. Okay, so now I gotta get up there. You know who I miss? My Glove of Doom minions. I really miss my Glove of Doom minions. I don't have anything like that yet, do I? Infector! Well, they're just done. Refractor! Boom! Be the beam! Oh, I got it. Almost by accident. That's gonna make a bridge, yes? There we go. Aww! Uh-oh! Infector! Hit by the Duh. <laughs> it works. Nice. So that's what they wanted me to do with it. That's cool. So I was imagining they were going to tell me about enemies hit with their. Hmm? There should be a spider symbol somewhere in that room. Use the beam to lead the spider drone over the symbol, and then zap it with the laser. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. But first. <laughs> They're not strong enough to actually, like, withhold. They're not, like, it, it's weird. I think they're supposed to get mind melded. Oh, there's the, there's the, oh. Okay, so, gotta get it over to there. The Spider-Man symbol. Hey, little fella. Follow the beam, right? So, you follow this way? Come on. Come on, little guy. There you go. Good man. Good. Oh, there you go. Go for the obvious Spider-Man symbol. Yeah! <laughs> Copyright pending. Let's go Nitro Launcher. Oh. Boom. <laughs> it's probably a humongous waste, but hey, whatever. Boom. Got him. Okay, so I need to use the wrench to bring up those... Bring up the, um... What do you call them? The refractors or whatever? Okay, so that moves that over there. And I probably want to use the refractor to get the beam over to that. There we go. Nice. You'll never take me alive. Oh, whoopsie. Dang, I didn't know I could destroy the lamps and everything. They're not worth much, though. They're not worth much, though, so I'm not going to bother with them. Oh, that one was just minding his own business. Haha. <laughs> okay, so we got the wrench here. Okay. Moving it along there. And then it should divide the beams. Okay. Then I gotta find some way to bring those back up. This is the puzzle episode. Okay, refractor. But there should be... Isn't there another... Oh no, they're deep in there. I thought there would just be another wrench to bring them forward, but nope. You gotta stand at a certain angle over here. And then BAM! Oh, hello! And goodbye! I guess that one got got by the laser beam. Oh no, he was right around the corner. 
Are we lagging? Is there latency? Hey! I did upgrade, I did put the refresh rate on 60 hertz. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. It's Al. Oh, I don't have the boots for this yet. I think there's a platinum bolt up there. Oh, he just disables the... I thought I was going to have to solve one more puzzle to get through the gate. Guess not. Hey, look, it's Al. Got the shields up yet? Silence! I am concentrating. What the... That's a Quark Vid comic. Excuse me. It is a historically accurate interactive graphic novel. How can you use the city's defense network to play a video game? Simple. I bypass the security server with a 626 hex matrix adapter and reprogram the graphic subprocessor. No, no, I mean, it's... Uh, Clank, you speak, uh, nerd. It appears you have a feedback loop in the induction coils of your DB3 signal processor. Impossible! I ran a recursive check them on the signal matrix. Hey, there is a feedback loop. I don't know what happened to me with a May we borrow this vid comic? Treat it gently. It is a first edition. Perhaps this will help restore Quark's memory. Shield power restored. <laughs> Man, that that's way back there. Cause I, I get confused because like I have to watch the entire like series, all the uh Oh, I guess there isn't a platinum bolt up there. I have to watch like the series Oh there it is! I told you! But I need the boots. You gotta have the boots, but I'll get those later. Unless I have to switch to them. I don't have them already, do I? No, I don't. Okay. But yeah, um, I have to watch the cutscene movies, like the, the all the cutscenes as a movie in order to get the thumbnails for the series. So I've already seen all of this already, and I'm like, good god, I'm that far back? But hey, to the vid comic it is. So return to your ship. And I think we're gonna... Whoa. Okay. And I think we're going to go back to the Phoenix and then view that vid comic to try to get Quark's memory back, and then I'll probably call the episode there. It might be a little bit shorter than the usual ones, but I think that'll be just fine. How long have we been going for? Oh, it's not telling me. Oh, well. Enter ship. I do love the paint job on that bad boy. Do love it. So, back to the Phoenix. Play Quark's VidComic. Knew it. Off we go. Oh, okay. I just had to move it up a little bit. There we go. Hey. There we go. Testing, testing. We've been going for 13 minutes. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. I still, I love the Phoenix. Like, the, the theme music for it is amazing. Da, da, da. I mean, imagine originally that, like, just having this on the PS2, like, when it first came out, being able to come in here and view all the stuff and all the trophies and stuff, man, that was great. Watch and learn, Clank. This is how a real hero gets it done. So this should be a little mini-game, I think, at the end of this. These are the real-life adventures of Captain Quark, the greatest superhero the galaxy has ever known. Hey, yeah, this thing right. on? <clears throat> Meticulously reconstructed by our crack research team with the aid of eyewitness accounts, bathroom gossip, wild speculation, and a magic eight ball. In the early days of the fifth Solarian equinox, the Solana galaxy was terrorized by a notorious pirate known as Captain Blackstar. Ahoy! Anybody else got a craving for fish and chips? Though still in the prime of his youth, Captain Quark <laughs> was already a living legend. I was beating him up with a stick. However, no Debt previous adventure obviously. could have prepared Quark for his encounter with the dread pirate Blackstar and his crew of... Oh, please tell me this is a typo. That's robotic pirate ghosts. Guess reading wasn't your subject, eh, Professor? Right. Now we begin the interactive portion of Episode 1, Booty, 
is in the eye of the beholder. Interactive portion. I. Oh, okay. Uh, yep, yep. This is how I remember it. And then there should be. Oh, I thought circle was blaster. Punch. Do I have to get the blaster? I think I gotta get the blaster. Boing. Mini game time. Ah, oh, frick. There is of course achievements for um. Not you taking just it. Up an officially licensed quark token. Collect all the tokens in the level to earn a secret prize. Anyway, there's also an achievement available for taking no damage during these, but yeah, we're not we're not going for that. This is bling, bling, baby. The red ones are worth ten quark tokens. This is not this is not achievement hunter, so I will I am just trying to pass. Boing. Boing. Miss my blaster. Ah! Stupid rat. Oh, I didn't go all the way. Ah. Okay. I don't have to get all of them. I mainly want to focus on not getting knocked out, because I think if you get knocked out, you have to start all over again. Zombie pirates! Nice. Boing, boing, boing. It's fun. The controls are pretty tight. Ah! I don't know if this is um, as accurate as the controls were on the original PlayStation, but it seems to be working pretty darn good. Good Halloween type level. Just, yeah, I just I love the punch. He just solves all those problems by punching straight through them. Can I get any health back by collecting enough of these? Holy god! That's a lot of rats. Only got like... Dang, I've only got one hit left. What happens? Oh no! I'm in trouble. Did I... Did I win? I need health. Oh, no! Sadness! Ah! Not all over again. Okay, so there is... There is continue points. That makes a huge difference. And yeah, I know I should try to, like, beat it without taking any damage, but f*** that. That's ridiculous. Ah! I was watching my face cam! I have to pay attention to things. I'm recording. Oh, God! Ah! Dude, stop being suck. Stop it. It's my fault. It's not the controller, it's me. Okay. Whoop! I mean, I wish I could just get some hits back. I mean, that would be great. Ah! Okay, those are gonna disappear. So, hippity, hoppity, swoopity. I did not need to use that many. Oh god. Bah. You brought charcoal into this house! Oh god! Ah! <laughs> no! You're killing me! Oh no! Okay, I really need to get to the next con continue point then. I need to be better. Just be better. Oh god! No! Come back! Don't leave me! Ah! I'm so impatient. That's right. Oop! I've got two hits left. I think we're almost done. And then the skull, and then... Hoip! A hip, a hop, a hip to the hop. Mmm, a nice juicy yes. health upgrade. Remember, cadets, there's one in every level. Heck yeah. I need more blaster shots. Ah! Oh dear. Ah, no! Okay, this should be easy. Where's he gonna come from? Okay. Yeah! Oh, that took a lot out of him. Oh, he's faster now. Do, do, do. I mean, you already know it's gonna be here. Oh gosh. 
Whoa! Oop. Oh, he's faster. Okay. Oh no! That's gonna deal me damage. Ha ha! I got you. Got him. Nice. A sizable bolt total. Not bad, not bad. I mean, I've worked on some real junk, but this one takes the cake. Pirate, ghost, robots. What are they? Think? We're idiots? Hey, Professor, snap to it. <clears throat> Once again, the citizens of the Solana Galaxy owed their lives to the dauntless courage of the remarkable man behind the queue. With great reluctance, Quark accepted a meager fee for his services and promptly donated the entire sum to the Quark for Tots Scholarship Fund. A charity providing makeovers and buxom bimbos for needy people named Quark. I've got a big heart. <laughs> Mr. President? Yes, I got the fruit basket, thanks. It turns out I'm allergic to prunes. Yeah, who knew? What? Blackwater City is under attack. Yes, sir, I'm on my way. The exciting, all true, right <coughs> adventures of Captain Quark continue in episode two. Oh boy. <laughs> he remembers how lame he was and still is. Of devil. It appears Quark has regained his memory. Hey, this dressing room isn't fit for a pig. What kind of shoddy production are you people running? That's him, all right. He may need a while to adjust. In the meantime, I've got a mission that's perfect for you, too. We've just learned of a prototype holographic device that can disguise the user as a Tyranoid, even allowing him to speak Tyranese. <laughs> Is it just me, or do you smell bananas? Anyway... <laughs> The device happens to be the grand prize on this week's Annihilation Nation. Check it out. Tonight on Annihilation Nation, we feature an all-new Death Horse. Let's meet tonight's victim. Oops, I mean, contestant, Fred. Fred is a gadgetron accountant who claims he once had a morpho ray go off in his pants. What a champ. Let's take a look at what he's up against. Doesn't look too bad now, does it? Good luck, Fred! Poor little fella. And done. <laughs> Next! Another day, another death course. Huh. Didn't seem too concerned about it, did he? Well, that's a good spot to end off this episode. That's a lot of fun. I love it. It does take me back, man. I'm glad to actually be finally doing the third installment in the Ratchet and Clank series. I'm surprised I'm not further along. I thought I really would be by now, but eh, there's been some setbacks. A lot of setbacks. Deadlocked will be the last one I'll do because it's the last one that came out on the PS2. Uh, the ones that come out on the PS3, I've never even played them, even as a teenager, adult, kid, whatever. I never played them. I've still never played them uh, for the ones that come out on the PS3. I played up to Deadlocked, and then there was that Ratchet and Clank remake that came out on the PS4 a while ago, I think. A long time ago. Oh, no, it was PS3. But anyway... That's all the time I have left for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying the series. I know it's way far back there, but it's good to, you know, revisit it for the nostalgia purposes. But anyway, that's all the time I have left for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments section below. Likes are always appreciated. Until next time, take it easy, my friends.